This is Adi Sharma Solution, Class uh, 12th, uh, Chapter 6, Determinants, Exercise 6.2. Now, these questions which we are discussing, uh, they have the same strategy. The strategy is same because they have come in multiple exams. So, we need to discuss them once more. The main thing is that two things are possible. Either row 1 should be equal to row 1 plus row 2 plus row 3 or column 1 should be equal to column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. So you will get something common, you will take the common and 1 1 1 will come and just subtract so that you get two zeros and open it. Now this is we are going to do. Now if you see here, if we add x plus a plus a plus a, that is uh, three rows, it, will, it won't solve our purpose, it will be a 3a. Uh, x uh, 3b and uh, x 3c that will not be solving our problem so what we are going to do here is we are going to add the columns here so row 1 row 2 row 3 won't help so column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 x plus a plus b plus c is x x plus a plus b b plus c a plus x plus b plus c is again x plus a plus b plus c and a plus b plus x plus c is again that thing so x plus a plus b plus c will be common in the first column i am taking it outside so x plus a, p, a plus b plus c, I'm taking it outside. Now here it will be 1, 1, 1. So what we have done is common 1 is changed to common 1, co column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. 1, 1, 1 we have got, we have b, x plus b and b. We have here c, c and x plus c. Now the best thing is we need zeros and zeros, maximum zeros. So if you do rows, it will be because b b is there c c is there if we subtract the rows you will get uh, two zeros from 1 1 1 and two zeros from c c and b b okay so row 1 row 2 row 3 let's see what what we can do we will do r2 change to r2 minus r1 and r3 change to r3 minus r1 this is the normal thing we do in this type of question so r2 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 x plus b minus b is x c minus c is 0 so same thing we are going to do. This is it row 2. Let me write the row 1, 1 BC. Now row 3 we are changing to row 3 minus row 1. So what do we get? 1 minus 1 is 0. B minus B is 0. And X plus C minus C is X. So we got two zeros in the first column and two zeros other in the other places. So row 3 is row 3 minus row 1. 1 BC, 0 X 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0 b minus b is 0 and x plus c minus c is x. So this is this is the easiness. Now let us open it using first uh, column 1 into something minus 0 into something or plus 0 into something. So it will be x 0 0 x here. So x, x square minus 0 it will be. So basically it's x square. You get x square. Now x square x plus a plus b plus c we initially took outside. So it will be x square into x plus a plus b plus c. Now since the question is saying it is equal to 0 and we have to solve for x. So that means it is to be 0. What will be the value of x for this to be 0? Either x is 0 or x plus a plus b plus c is 0. So we get x equals minus a minus b minus c. Or you can say minus a plus b plus c. Next one is, uh, you know, almost like that thing. So now we will just add the column. So column 1, column 2, column 3, we add 3x plus a. Or 3x plus a plus a we have taken outside. 1, 1, 1 will come in the first column. And row 2 will be changed to row 2 minus row 1. Row 3 will be changed to row 3 minus row 1 as in the previous question. So we get two zeros in the first column and two zero otherwise. Okay. So what do we get? You have to do all it, all of it. R2 to R2 minus R1 and R3 to R3 minus R1. So in the last we get 1 a 0 0 a this is a square a square into 3x plus a 3x plus a was already with us a square into 3x plus a is equal to 0 and since a is not equal to 0 it is specifically given the question it has to be 3x plus a equals 0 so what does it mean when we say 3x plus a equals 0 see a is not equal to 0 so we cannot put it as 0 3x plus a has to be 0 then so x becomes equals to negative a by 3 that is your answer So, this kind of questions again same thing, 
either you do c1 equals c1 plus c2 plus c3 or r1 equals r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is what you have to do so these are column 1 column 2 column 3 now 3x minus 8 plus uh, minus 8 plus 3 plus 3 so column 1 we add we get 3x minus uh, 6 minus 8 is 2 minus 2 so 3x minus 2 will come so i am just taking 3x minus 2 outside when you take 3x minus 2 outside you will get 1 1 1 and the rest thing will remain same now we'll apply r2 to r2 minus r1 and r3 to r3 minus r1 as we have done in the previous two questions so r2 minus r1 and r3 will change to r3 minus r1 what do you get you get two two zeros in the first column and two zeros otherwise in the other places so this is uh, the solution in front of you just try uh, doing this r2 equals r2 minus 1 and r3 minus r3 to r3 minus r1 you have to do it in the separate steps so finally what we get 3x minus 2 was already outside so when we open it use the first column you get 1 into 3, 1 into 3x minus 1, 11 3x minus 11 0 0 so this will be equal to 3x minus 11 whole square so we have 3x minus 11 whole square and this is whole square so x will become equal to minus 11 uh, this plus plus 11 by 3 or x will be equal to 2 by 3 that is there are two factors so it has to be equal to 0 so 3x minus 2 equals 0 3x equals 2 3x minus equal 0 is x equals L by, uh, 11 by 3 and x, x will be equal to 2 by 3 what does that mean that these are the factors that will make this determinant equal to 0 if x is is these values now next question please see very carefully because x cube a, a cube b cube will also come so the basic thing is same you know because 1 1 is already there normally we come to 1 1 1 and then do it so row 1 row 2 row 3 please remember a is not equal to b so that has to be considered in the final answer okay r2 we will do r2 minus uh, r1 but we will do it as r1 minus r2 why just just because we are familiar with x minus a not with a minus a, a. we don't want a minus x we don't minus uh, we don't need a square minus x square that is why we are doing r2 equals r2 minus uh, r2 but in the next question you will see i will do the same thing r2 equals or r2 will be changed to r2 minus r1 we don't we know we don't have any problem in having this a minus x i'm just saying that we just know x minus a so r2 i'm changing it to not r r2 minus r1 which we have been doing up till now but i will be doing it as r2 minus r1 right so r1 minus r2 will be what we are going to do not r2 minus r1 so row 2 we are changing now let us see 1 minus 1 is 0 uh, x a minus x because we, we are doing x minus a not uh, a minus x so it will be x minus a and x square minus a square is x minus a x plus a so this is just because we need, need x minus a normally we do r2 minus r1 this has to be very carefully understood right okay so r3 will change as r1 minus r3 not r3 minus r1 just just to have an equivalency between x minus a, a and x minus b so 1 minus 1 is 0 x minus b it is and x square minus b square x square minus b square we have now you see the second row and third row from the second row we can take x minus a common from the second uh, from third row we can take x minus b common how because this x square minus a square is nothing but x minus a x plus a you can always write like this x square minus b square is x minus b x plus b okay now just take x minus a common from here and x minus b common from the third row so 1 x x square 0 x minus a already taken common 1 x plus a 0 1 x plus a and as i said what we have taken common x minus a x minus b is already outside now just open it using first column as I just indicated, x plus a uh, and x minus a and x minus b is already outside. Let me just write it. x minus a and x minus b. So just solve it. x plus b minus a, x minus a. So x plus b minus x minus a. So x, x get cancelled, you get b minus a. Okay, b minus a, b cannot be equal to a because it is given in the question. So b minus a will not never be equal to 0. So x minus a has to be equal to 0 or x minus b has to be equal to 0. 
That means x equals a and x equals b. This is the final answer. So this question I'm going to do here only because it follows the same sequence. Column 1 will be changed to column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. It will be x plus 1, x plus 1 plus, uh, uh, x plus, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is x plus 9 and all of these x plus 9, x plus 9 take common. You get 1, 1, 1. Now R2 will be changed to R2 minus R1. R3 will be changed to R3 minus R1. So you will get um, two zeros where in the first column and other two zeros otherwise means in the other places. So first step is column 1 to column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. Second step is R2 to R2 minus R1 and R3 to R3 minus R1. Always change the row 3 and row 2 because row 1 we want to keep it like that. Ultimately we are going to open it using the first column. So when we get x plus 9, x minus 1 whole square, x equals 9, minus 9 and x equals 1. There, is, there are no two ones. There is no point in saying that we are putting 1 twice. It will be uh, and now this one. So 1 plus x plus x cube. So this, this question was similar to what we have done. It was x square, b square and uh, c square. Remember? So same thing we are going, going to do here. Uh, we will do the same thing. 1, 1, 1 is already with us. So we will just apply r2 equals r2 change to r2 minus r1 and r3 change to r3 minus r1. So first thing is r2 minus r1. So it will be r1, r1 minus r2 also we can do. But it's it depends on you. What, how do you do it? Because the Whichever way you do, the answer will come same. Sometimes we don't want x uh, b minus x because we are very familiar with x minus b. So r2 minus r1 we have done, r3 minus r1 we have done. And when we do this, we see that there are certain things which we can take common. Like, see, a q minus b cube is what? Here b q minus x cube is what? b minus x, B's, this b, b square plus x square x square plus bx. This is your first one. Similarly, this x cube minus b x cube minus c cube or c cube minus x cube can be written as c minus x, c square plus x square plus cx. Same thing. So I'm just saying that it can be x minus b, it can be uh, uh, this x, b minus x, it's up to you. But what we need to know is that a cube minus b cube formula we have to apply. So this is the formula of a cube minus b cube. You have to apply it here. And in both of these, you can take b minus x common and c minus x common. So b minus x, c minus x, we are taking common. And when we take this, what is left inside? This is left inside. So we'll open it using the first uh, column. And it will be opened with 1. And the 2 by 2 determinant will be like this. So x minus b, x minus c is already there. So I'm opening it using the first column. So this minus this will come. So x square plus xc plus c square minus x square minus xb minus b square. So what do you get here? When you when you see x square x square gets cancelled. See xc minus xb x common c minus b and c square minus b square is there. So c minus b c plus b we can write. C minus b c plus b. Okay. Now we can take c minus b common from here. X will be there. C plus b will be inside. Right. So what do we get? Now C minus B. Since the question is saying B cannot be equal to C. So we cannot put C equals B. So it has to be X minus B equals 0. X minus C equals 0. Or X plus C plus B equals 0. So X minus B equals 0. That means X is, is B. Uh, X equals C. And X equals minus of C plus B. Or you can say X, is, X will be equal to minus B minus C. So this question. Uh, you just have to look at the pattern. If we change column 1 and how do we change column 1 minus twice of column 3. What do we uh, get means what the what is the benefit? 15 minus 2x we are subtracting the twice of column 3. That is twice of 7 minus x. What is twice of 7 minus x? 14 minus 2x. So we subtract it using 14 minus 2x. So it will be minus 14 plus 2x. So 14 plus minus 14 plus 2x. So 14 uh, twice is 28, 13 twice is 26. So we do 11 minus 28, we do 10 minus 26. Now you'll see the benefit in just a while. Let me do this. So other things will come same. Let me just do this one. 15 minus 14 is uh, this 2x. 
So you have 2x, 2x, it get cancelled. 15 minus 14 is 1. 10 minus 28 is negative 17. 10 minus 26 is negative 16. Okay. So you have here 11 minus 3x, 7 minus x. You have 17, 16, 14, and 30. Now you see, this is minus 17, 17, minus 16, 16. So if you just add these column 1 and column 2, if you add column 1 and column 2, you'll get two zeros. So 11 minus 3x plus 11. Column we are changing to column 1 plus column 2. So 11, this is 11 uh, plus 1. So 12 minus 3x, 17 plus 17 is 0, 6, minus 16, 16 is 0. Now you can solve it here only, but you can also do one thing. C2 minus C3. C2 can be changed to C2 minus C3. What is the benefit? You will get 3, 3. Because 17 minus 14 is 3 and 16 minus 13 is also 3. Okay. Say 11 minus 3x minus 7 plus x. It will be, we have subtracted it. It will be 11 minus 7 is 4 and minus 3x plus 2x is minus 2x. So it will be 4 minus 2x. Remember, 17 minus 14 will be 3 and 16 minus 13 will be 3. So the second column will be 4 minus 2x and 3 and 3. And what about the third one? Third column, it will remain like that. 7 minus x, 14 and 13. It is 3. It is 3. We have 14 here, 13 here. Now you can uh, solve it using the first uh, column. So 12 minus 3x. You can take this 3, 3, 14, 30. So it will be 3 into 13 minus uh, 4 into 14 into 13. You can just write it like this because ultimately it will be 3 into 1. How? 3 into 13 minus 3 into 14. 3 just take common. 13 minus 14 is negative 1. It will be minus 3. So minus 3 will come. So negative will come here like this. Minus 3 it is. Minus 3 into 12 minus 3x. So minus 3 cannot be 0. It is not 0. So do you get 12 minus x, uh, 12 minus 3x equals 0. So 12 equals 3x, x will be equal to 12 by 3, that is going to be 4. So x is 4 is the answer. Now the next one, it's quite easy because we just have to take the row 2 and subtract it using with the row 1. So row 2 minus row 1 will change. Ro will change row 2 to row 2 minus row 1. P plus 1 minus 1 is 1. P plus 1 minus 1 is 1 and P plus X minus X is just P. So in the middle row, it becomes P, P, P. 3 X plus 1, X plus 2. Okay. Now you take P common from the second row. What do you get? 1, 1, X. 1, 1, 1. 3 X plus 1 and X plus 2. Right. Now you can just easily solve it. Because we have column 1, we can change to column 1 minus column 2. Others also. You can subtract the row 1 and row 2. That is also possible. So let us do with the column 1 only. You can do rows also. So column 1 will be changed to column 1 minus column 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus x plus 2 is going to be 2 minus x. So 3 minus x. So we are subtracting, right? So we get 2 minus x. It was x plus 1, sorry. So you, you get uh, 2, 0, 0, 2 minus x. 1, 1, x and x, 1, 2. We can, we can also do one more thing. 1, 1. So this is x plus 2 as I said. No, you can keep it like that. There, there can be multiple ways you can do. Let it be like that. We don't go far beyond that. We'll open it using the first column only. So 2 minus x, 0, 0 will be gone. 2 minus x, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. This is oh, x. It is x. There is a slight mistake. I corrected it. It will be 1 minus x. So 1 minus x into 2 minus x, it will be. It will be. So when we put it as 0, either 2 minus x, p is all, already there. Since it is not given in the question, p is 0 or not. So we need to take it. It will be 2 minus x equals 0 or p equals 0 or 1 minus x equals 0. That is p equals 0, x equals 2 or x equals 1. So this is the answer. Since it is not given, p will also be equal to 0. Please remember. Okay, this is all about this exercise. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.